Hi, my name is Dan Trout. As you very well know, I'm the librarian for Minor Library for the School of Nursing. Today we're going to talk about different types of articles you can find in database subscriptions. The first article is what's called a systematic review. A systematic review is a process that uses a standard methodology to select and review peer-reviewed literature on a specific topic to synthesize the literature. It is often at the top of the evidence pyramid. A systematic review will often use a librarian to help locate the literature, and clinicians will evaluate the literature and remove articles for bias or poor study design, allowing the most high quality articles to be included in the systematic review. A very common place to find a systematic review is the Cochrane database of systematic reviews. However, you will also find systematic reviews in PubMed and CINAHL. Also, you will find what's called a meta-analysis are often confused with systematic reviews. A meta-analysis focuses, focuses um, just on a statistical review of randomized control trials and other similar trials such as case control studies or cohort studies. It is similar to a systematic review in that it reviews peer-reviewed literature and it combines the results from sets of studies providing for weighting of each study based on the number of subjects in each study as well as other characteristics. It often contains a forest plot. Randomized control trials are subjects are randomized to receive a new treatment or a standard treatment, and they're often used to reduce or remove bias by single, double, or triple blinding. A case control study is uh, following a group of cases compared with a group of controls. The controls are similar demographic to cases with exception, except without disease or intervention. These often compare rates of cases with controls and look at outcome and examine exposures. A cohort study follows a group of people or a cohort through an experience of time. It looks at an exposure to see what diseases might develop. It tracks a large number of people over that period of time and it can be retrospective, so looking backwards in charts, or prospective as you have a group of people and see what happens as you follow them forward. As I said, case control studies designed based on exposure to a disease, and it tracks people with the disease or cases and compares them with similar patients without the disease controls. So the, you, another type of article you might find is background information or expert opinion. These are not based on studies and is often the opinion of one or more clinicians. Therapy articles are often what are you find in clinical trials or randomized control trials. So if you have a therapy question, these are the type of questions or articles you might want to look for. If you have a harm or etiology question, you might look for cohort studies or case controls, harm associated with a particular therapy. You can also use randomized control trials by measuring the harms and additions to benefits of a trial. A trial could improve mortality rates but also increase bleeding in this patient. A diagnosis, you look at how sensitive or specific an article is. You look at their likelihood ratio, the probability of an event occurring, treatment thresholds, and are often found in cohort studies or case control studies. Prognosis questions are usually found in prospective or retrospective cohort studies and comparisons between different populations. We will also look at a variety of tutorials available on the web to help you find articles in CINAHL or in PubMed. But just as an overview, in CINAHL, if you look at the red circle, you can edit your search and you can see if you can find a specific type of study or harm or etiology or the such. An example of this, if you look here, you can look at clinical queries or publication types in CINAHL. In PubMed, on the left, you'll see you can search by article types or you can also filter by a variety of different article types on the right hand side. Please look at both of these circles and you will see this available information. If you do have any further questions, please feel free to contact Minor Library or myself, Dan Trout. I'll be more than happy to show you how to locate these articles in the databases so that you can conduct your homework. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.